Hi, welcome to Invited Back with Sabbath Kapahu. Today I want to talk about willpower. Is your willpower on vacation? It is almost the end of March and I don't know about you, but I set some goals at the beginning of the year that I have still yet to begin working towards. I just finished a book called Renovated by Jim Wilder and it is all about his conversations and conferences with Dallas Willard. It is so powerful. And there are so many things to unpack in there. And perhaps I might spend a few weeks talking about uh, what I've gleaned from this book. But today I wanted to talk about willpower. He was talking about our will. And he was saying that willpower doesn't work reliably. Half the time when I need it, willpower is on vacation in the Bahamas. (laughs) And I so resonated with that, especially for some reason, especially this month. I've heard, you know, that February is a month where dreams go to die. But I got to tell you, March has been has been a little rough in that area. But at the same time, as I think about how, gosh, I just don't have enough willpower. I was reading uh, Jim Wilder's words and he was saying, you know, you don't become spiritually or emotionally mature by willpower, but we have to learn to use our will. What I love about this idea is that we have to, we get to perhaps do more than just desire something to come to pass. We actually have to make daily choices to see a process out until a goal is achieved. Now as moms and as wives and as friends and as community members, there are so many things that tug and pull at us at any given moment, on any given day. There's no weekends in motherhood. Uh, There's no days off of being a wife. And the reality is that sometimes the things that we desire and as much as we would will something to happen, it just doesn't. It's on vacation in the Bahamas. (laughs) I'm just going to continue to tell myself that and take hope and grace in the fact that this is a normal thing. If we just try to live our lives by our will and the desire for things that we want to have happen or to see happen, we wouldn't be getting anywhere, would we? And if you're feeling a little bit discouraged about that, my heart today is to just give you hope to remind you that you are not the only one who is struggling to meet a goal and that there are absolutely real applicable ways to take one step forward and that's all we can do we only have grace for today there's no storing up the goodness or riches or or grace of heaven we are given exactly what we need for today and it is enough and when we wake up tomorrow God willing we will have the same amount of grace and strength and goodness and riches for what we need for tomorrow so friends my quick encouragement to you is if your will is on vacation in the Bahamas you're not alone. And there's actually something that we can do to take a step forward. Write down your goal. Or as Kat Lee would say in her productivity course in the Academy of Hello Mornings, learn to know the difference between the goal and the problem 
We set goals because we have a problem that we're trying to fix. So actually, what is the problem that you're trying to fix? And what is one step that you can take in the process of moving towards healing that problem or fixing that problem? We're not going to get there just by willpower, but we're going to get there with smart goals. We're going to get there with accountability. And we're going to get there with a lot of prayer and grace for ourselves. The heart behind this time at Invited Back is a consistent reminder that there is so much sacred space in solidarity. And you are not the only one who hasn't met your goals for 2021. But there are people, I am here, there is so many people ready to walk with you in community to cheer you on. And if you feel like there's nobody, please DM me on any social media and I will cheer you on. So even if your willpower is on vacation in the Bahamas, mama, wife, friend, daughter, you are not alone. Until next time, aloha.